I do my ponytail using a uh, free trust crochet hair. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Eunice Marie and my channel is all about informative beauty from skincare, hair care, makeup, DIY, all that fun stuff. If you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and click that subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell so you're notified when I upload and if you like what I do here on my channel, give your girl a big thumbs up and share me with the world. I'm going to show you guys how I do my free trust pony. Um, tell I've fallen in love with this look. Um, I wanted a ponytail, just something really quick, something that I can throw in. And once again, this worked out perfectly. Um, so I'm going to be jumping right into this tutorial. We're going to get right started. Everything that I use in the tutorial will also be shown here in this video as well as listed down below. So you can find all the details on everything that I use. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, you guys. So first thing first is that I am going to um kind of just fill my hair i've had this ponytail going for about a week um so i kind of just like to fill my hair and see what it needs if it needs any moisture or anything my hair is pretty moisturized except for a section right here which feels to be a little bit drier than usual so i'm just going to take a bottle of i'm just going to take some water and i'm going to spritz just that one little area around the area not too much because I don't like my hair to be too saturated with water because then my hair won't lay down as um, slick as I want it to. So I already have a pre-existing middle part that I've had. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to continue to work with that. So what I do is I'm just going to go ahead and take some this ISO Plus Styling Gel. Not the best gel in the world to use, but currently that is what I am using. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to just uh, slick it down on the entire head. Once all of my gel is on my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use my Curls Passion Fruit uh, Control Paste. I do use a few items to slick down my ponytail because I like my ponytail to be as slick as possible. And you guys know I don't straighten my hair, so um, I have to make sure that my curls are as slick as possible. So then I apply that on top of the gel. To kind of mold my hair while I'm doing this into the ponytail so everything that I apply is in the direction of how I want my hair to fall when it comes to me creating this ponytail okay and lastly what I do is that I for slicking everything down is that I use some Murray's bees wax this is a very key important part for me because the products that I used before do contain a water content. They do slick the hair down, but they also do have a water content in them. So I like to use something that doesn't have any water in it, um, like a wax to just slick all, slick my whole head down, okay? So I just warm that up in my hands like so, and I just take it and apply it. So now this is where the magic happens. So I just take my hair. I am rocking a, I don't want to say it's a, it's not a super low bun or ponytail, but it's a low bun. It is definitely not a high bun. Okay. So once my hair is in a ponytail like so, I take a ponytail holder and I just make my hair into a little bun. Just like this. So once everything is like slick to my liking um, in a bun, that's where the hair comes into play. So this is the Free Tress, I believe this Water Wave. I have the link and everything down below, but this is, I believe, the Water Wave. I used it for my passion twist and I had a pack left, so I thought that I'd go ahead and make it into a ponytail. So pretty much what I did is I took one pack of hair, tied a regular rubber band around it or a hair scrunchie around it, and this is what I had when it came to um, making the ponytail. Uh, this hair is a bit complicated, not complicated, but it it doesn't last long. As you guys can see, it's not as, it's very frizzy in a lot of areas. I've had it for about a week. And I don't really mind the frizz of this ponytail because it matches my natural hair texture perfectly. A lot of people thought my hair was real. So it works out great. 
So what I do is that I just put my head forward like so, okay? I take the band and I place it around the bun. Now this part, I make sure that the ponytail or the hair is forward and I flip it over my bun, okay? Now, when I flip it over my bun, I spread the hair out to make sure that it covers my bun here because you don't want people to see your bun, right? So I make sure that it covers my bun. I take a, a piece of hair, so I just grab a section. So I just take a piece, a random piece, and I just bring it around the bun. And I stop at the top of the head. So I bring this piece of hair forward, stopping at the top. I take a bobby pin and I secure that, that piece right on top. This is where I go and I put some bobbles. So I use, I like to use little things that adore the hair, adornments for the hair because it just makes it look a little bit more natural and it gives your hair a nice little look. So I'm gonna take two clear bobbles like these. What do you guys call these? I call them bobbles, people call them balls, babbles, a whole bunch of other stuff. But um, I used to wear them a lot when I was a kid, so I like to wear them. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm just going to place them around my ponytail like so, and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, the ponytail. I'm going to take my control paste and I'm gonna actually um, start to lay my edges down a little bit cleaner and neater. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm just going to put a little bit extra on my edges. So now once all that is laid down, I do take a scarf and I do lay it on my head for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe just 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna take a regular old scarf and I just wrap everything up. So let's talk about the actual crochet hair here. You guys can see there is a lot of frizziness going on with it which I don't mind but sometimes it just becomes too tangled a mess so there is something that I do for that so I do take some um some mousse and I'm using this decadent creamy mousse by organics looks like this it's the smells bomb okay. and I just take it and I just um put it throughout the hair just to kind of help to lay down the curls a little bit um and to tame it just a little bit, but you get what I'm saying? But just to give the hair a little bit more structure and to make it lay a little bit better. And then I just kind of fluff it out. So I just take it and I just fluff it out like so. Okay. All right, you guys, so I am back and this is the final look of my crochet ponytail using the Free Trust hair. I really do like this look. It looks really natural and it's really simple for you to do. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave all comments down below. Any questions? Do you ever or have you ever used crochet hair for a ponytail? And if so, what is your favorite type of crochet hair to use for the most natural looking style for yourself? And yes, you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is your girl, Eunice Marie. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in a later video.